Good morning, everybody. Everybody from the Philippines in Manila. And today we are officially at one of the oldest churches in all of Manila. It is actually the um, Monasterio de Guadalupe. I believe that's what it's called is church. And this is the actual oldest church in all of the Philippines. And it's kind of cool because you see all of everything and uh, everybody's saying hi, but look how old this is. Like even this, you could see like everything about it is super, look at that, like just a parking lot as well. So it's still here since the 1600s, I believe. But let's read a little bit about it. So the Augustine order were laid in 1601 and construction work was finished 1629. So they've had this after the Chinese uprising of 1639, the sanctuary served as a seat of devotion for the Chinese, which is super crazy because look at how old it is. They even have the old bells. They even have a rope around it. And then they have an area over here where I think, I think that's added to it. So let's go inside. Maybe we can go inside and possibly do a tour. We'll see, we'll introduce ourselves, see how it is. So I met one of my buddies that I met at the hostel up, in uh, Bali. So this is our first time we're going in. And look how great, wow. I don't know if we can go in, but I'm gonna stay quiet. Hello? Hello? Are, are, we, are we okay to record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, we can just walk around? Yeah. Thank okay, you, perfect, guys. thank you. Just wanna be respectful. And you see it, look how beautiful it is. This is one of the oldest buildings. Wow. It is, oh, okay. So as you can see, there's a lot of old windows that they still have. It's the original with the art. And look at the front, like this is insane. The only thing that's not new is the Bose speakers right there, but everything else is crazy. But here it is. And uh, I don't think we're allowed to step on that, huh? No, so. Okay, so wow, okay. So that's the last, oh. that was the last meal, right? Yeah. That's what they call it. So the last meal, and you can see just that's, look at that, that is insane. Made out of gold? I know that's real. Um, they have the actual, see that right there? It's wow and i don't know how further back we can go but it is super for it being on the building outside inside actually looks a lot nicer than what it does outside but look oh wow they actually lit it up for us wow oh wait he's walking on it wait oh okay so i guess he had to give his respects so wow that's, you're never gonna see that, bro. You gotta take a picture of that. That is awesome to see. Wow. Wow. Then when you figure out the historic places of the Philippines, especially something like this to have it, and still standing up, that's crazy. Like, I, I'm so shocked that it's still up like this. Cause on the outside, it didn't look like it, but it's good to see this, man. Wow. And just people come in here and they pray and um, you get to see the architecture on the walls so so far super beautiful wow but uh this is the first stop we're stopping to and then we're possibly going to go to a couple other places but today i just want to show you a little bit of history of the philippines the oldest church um in the philippines so wow and i think there's a building outside so we can definitely check it out too um but we'll see what it is can we go by there yeah 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 I think we can go on the outside. Go on the outside, yep. Walk outside. I don't know what that is. That's probably a, so on the outside, do you see it? But that's just a information center, okay. So that's just the information center. So I don't think we need much on that, but it's kind of cool to see just everything on the inside of the church. Really, really good information to see that because you don't see that everywhere. So. It's a formation center. Oh, okay, formation center. No, we don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but you can see the arc is still there, it's still up, which is amazing. And just, and I'm guessing this is just like a area where people just sit down and do a couple prayers on the outside. But old building, old history, and it's great to see that. Now we're off 
to the next adventure because uh, this is the first stop we're gonna do. And I think we're gonna go into the fort soon, I believe. So um, that's gonna be it. But look at that, wow. Man, these these things are so old. It's crazy. It was a thread. It was a what? It was like a fence. And everything yeah, the painting went away. Fine. It's probably been there for a long time, right? Yeah. Look at the old architecture of like the buildings on the homes. So imagine living here and then seeing this across the street when it was at its prime in the 1600s. That's crazy. So you guys can see people probably just relaxed here. And then this was a, um, so this is like a statue. So they have the 10 commandments. Um, you shouldn't have other gods besides me. You shall not carve uh, idols for yourselves. You shall not take the name of the Lord, your God in vain. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. And they just have the 10 commandments on this statue, which is, wow. And it's still there. It's falling on the right side, but it's cracked a little bit, but it's still there. I think, poor dog. Yeah. Wow. I think they were constructors. You think so? I don't think they reconstructed it because they cracked down the middle. Mm -hmm. Not sure about that. Yeah, I've never seen that. It looks too old, you know? It looks old to me. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way the writing on it, like, it looks like it's falling apart, but <laughs> I think it's the original. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, buddy. All right, I'm going to stay away from that because he looks like he might come through that for sure. And they have, like, old here. That's awesome. And then look at on the outside, you can see, like, a couple other statues on the outside. So that was the first historical place. Now the second we gotta hit up, we gotta hit the uh, the fort. And I think we have a little surprise on what the um, fort has because it's another historical place over here. So we're gonna check out the fort. But it's good to see this as the first round of our travels. And uh, next we're gonna go hit up the fort. But look at this. They still have little areas right here. Wow. And I'm guessing this has been there for a long time. So, unless however they built it, it's kind of crazy because of the fact that the rocks are just set up like this. And then you have the statue over there. And then it's pretty much it. It's pretty big. I wonder what's on the right side, but I think it was closed. Wow. All right, and we're off to the next place. Follow you in Twitter, Instagram. Awesome. And I will promote you too. Thank you. We got, a cool little, uh, yeah. we got a cool little Kojak driver introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah. Always Hi. good to see the humble people in uh, the Philippines. Everybody's been Welcome so nice. Welcome to the Philippines. Thank yeah. you, sir. I appreciate it. Just get I us there in one piece in Chinatown. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I wish you will enjoy your vacation here or stay here in the Philippines. Inshallah. We definitely will. Thank you so much for the humbleness. Always good to see people. Always like, just take us. We're about to go to Chinatown right now and go get some uh, food and just check out the Chinatown experience. So we'll be there in about, how long, sir? Uh, it takes more than 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay, okay. so we got a nice little 40 minute drive, so we'll see y'all soon. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially in the Chinatown of Philippines, Manila, and we're walking through and we want to get some food, check out the Chinatown experience. This is the first time to ever be here, and you guys got to see this place. It's super nice. It does give you like that Chinatown feeling when it comes down to like in San Francisco. So, as you guys can see, it's got everything you can think of but you see the 7-Eleven, you see all the little ornaments and really nice. And I can smell some food as well, but look at how beautiful it is. And it's, it's packed. So we gotta go through and make sure that we don't get into too many crowds. We just wanna get somewhere where we can get some food and it's not a long line. I'm gonna go right here. Hey, it's a Fast and the Furious car, bro. It's probably packed over there. What is that? Oh, it's... It's like a restaurant. All right, we're gonna keep on going and see what else they got over here. Everybody's just waiting on these restaurants and uh, wow, super, super packed. So I'm guessing this place is really famous. It's like a fast food area where it comes down. It's super famous out here because you see the line. It's like all the way around in the corner. Yo, that line is, uh, that line. Come on, you can say hello. You can say hello. There you go. <laughs> so he was so nervous. He, I heard him on the outside. He was like, so you can say hello to the vlog. So uh, kind of cool to check it out. Dude, that restaurant was packed. Did you see that? So cool. Oh my God. There was like a hundred people in there just waiting in line for some, for some soup. But you see around the street, 
This is a little Chinatown, so Manila Chinatown, we're gonna walk through. I'd walk through in the streets of beautiful Chinatown to see what we can eat. And um, there's a lot of people out here that are hanging out, so we just gotta <laughs> be careful, make sure that um, we don't, we don't uh, bump into anybody because the sidewalks are really small out here. So uh, we got street food. We're trying to see some local street food and see what else they can give us over here. Some snacks and some dessert, because I'm actually hungry. Um, we only ate earlier, a while back. So we're gonna get some more food out here. So see what else we got. Really beautiful hotels around here. They got the little water and we're just gonna keep on walking. I don't see, uh, I don't see much street food. I thought I was, maybe it's in the wrong area. Hello, sir. Quick question, where's all the street food? What? Where's all the street food? There, sir. Straight ahead? Uh, Just keep on going. Okay, thank you. So, they, thank you. Did he say, I think he said, he said be careful. Okay, maybe, I, I, I heard him say be careful, so I don't know. But we're gonna look for some more street food. I think it's straight ahead. There's a bridge over here, so I guess we'll find it and see what we can find. I literally thought Chinatown was filled with like places where there's a lot of street food, but maybe I was wrong. We'll see. Just keep on going. Oh, he's backing up. Almost got hit. That's not happening. All right, and we're gonna keep on walking. This looks like a nice little restaurant. We got, uh, okay. Let's see what else we can find. Hopefully we can find some local street foods in Chinatown. Ba -ba -bum. <laughs> Let me see, trying to get through. All right, so this is a bridge. So I don't know if there is street food over here. Hope, oh, I think there is. Maybe we're gonna find all the street food over here. So maybe there isn't street food, maybe there's something else. Maybe it's all restaurants, I could be wrong. I thought it was all street food, but let's check it out. Oh my God. It's already getting active over here. So kind of cool to see just like all the, oh, there we go. Now we got the street vendors coming out. So we're gonna check out some street food, get on the street and see what else we can eat. And hopefully we can find something. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sorry. There we go. So we're gonna go get some street food and try to find something local over here. Um, let's see what we got here. You got eggs, you got a lot of stuff. Yep, what did it got here? Oh, wow. So, I'm guessing this is like a hot pot barbecue bar and they, they do entertainment. So, they're walking around with their costumes and walking around. So, let's just keep on going and see what else they have. But everybody's, oh wow, what is that? So, you got other things that you can actually check out. Is this like a little supermarket? Like an arcade store? Yo, I've never seen this. Oh, so it's like a mini arcade. I'm, so it's like little mini arcades that kids can play. And I think, that, hey, this turns into a supermarket, so. Let's go try one. What, you're about to win right now? Let's go try one. All right, let's try one. It's an ATM exchange, though. I don't think it works, bro. It's taped up, yeah. They don't want you to win. So we're actually in a supermarket, but in a supermarket, they have a lot of stuff that you can actually play for kids. So he wants to try. <laughs> she took your money. She, it's over. He's not getting his money back. It's hella funny to see that. But you can see that people play in the supermarket. They they set up all these games for the kids. Um, I've never seen supermarket like that where they have those kind of games. But we'll check out the street food in a minute. Hopefully he can win me a toy. And this is what happened when you go on a romance date. It's a date. Are you gonna win? Are you gonna win me one, bro? I'm gonna win one. You gotta win a duck. I think yeah. I think you got a chance to win a duck. You think? Yeah, I think you can win it. All right, she brought some change. So it's one token, one game. Yeah. All right, let's see what you can do. Oh, I think he got it. Oh, no, he didn't. Almost. I think you got this one. I think you definitely got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's about to happen right here. Let's see. There it is. Uh, there we go. 
I think he got it. Yep, he got it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Yo, these games are scams. Oh, oh my god. Look at that, they got a little ride for kids. That's so cool. All right, so we're gonna walk down and see what else we can find on this street of Chinatown. Oh my god, it's getting a little crazier. I got a backpack, so I gotta get through. And we're just gonna keep on going and see what else we can find. But so far, looking at all the places, I think the street food is over here on this street. So we're gonna see what kind of food is available. Are you hungry, bro? You ready for some street food? Some local Filipino dishes. Oh, wow, they, oh no, they have a casino here too? Yo, I'm about to go through. That's cool. Oh, excuse me. So we're gonna go through, see what else we can find. Um, what do we got here? So we don't have, okay, so I guess it's like a bunch of restaurants. I don't see any street food walkers right now. So maybe it's still a little early, but uh, let's see what we can grab. Let's try, I didn't know they had a casino here. So that's interesting. They got salad. So which way should we go, brother? I'm thinking about this one or this one? I don't know. I got to see where it's at. Let me ask. Let's see this way. Yep. Hold on. Let me look down there. Okay. A bunch of cars. All right. We'll just keep on going. See what else we can find. We're just gonna keep on going and see if we can find more street food. So as you can see, uh, it was featured on CNN Travel. So um, we waited over an hour so far and we're almost there. We're almost in the restaurant, but we're not quite there, but we're waiting, but we're making it and we're sweating, but it is what it is. He's gonna make it, he's gonna make it, I promise you, inshallah. I wanna show you guys some of the food, but if you look at it, they got tofu, they got beef, they got soup. They got everything and they got the chef making it right in front. That looks like chicken biryani, but I know it's not chicken biryani. And you see like all the meat 
and then they bring it down here. But look at the meat and everything. It looks really good. So I'm actually excited to try some of the uh, dishes out here. And hopefully it's going to be a lot more delicious. But we'll see. And definitely um, we have... Uh, we have a lot to try. We ordered like five things, so we gotta still walk in. We haven't walked in, you have to order outside. And then once you order outside, uh, we can walk in and they already have our order ready. So we're waiting on that. But I saw the mango juice or the watermelon juice and it's seasonal, so they have it. So we're gonna try that too. But I mean, look at the restaurant, it's super packed. As you can see, we waited like an hour, but uh, it was well worth it. There's still like a line and we waited like an hour and 30 minutes to try this. But look at the chicken cucumber, they have dim sum. so. We, tore, we order, literally ordered like five or six things because we're starving. So excited to finally eat. All right, first dish we got here. Pretty impressive. This portion is huge. Look at that. We got a little bit of chili oil and uh, we're gonna get our drinks, but dude, this is a huge portion. I didn't know it was gonna be like this big. Let's see what it's like. Uh, usually it's never like this big but i mean look at the size of it it's crazy like that is a crazy amount of like soup it's huge it's like bigger than my face so this one's the beef uh the beef mommy and it is filled with noodles juice lettuce cabbage Oh my god, they even brought that fried chicken. Yep, thank you. Is, is this, uh, is this, is there pork in the gravy? There's pork in the gravy? No pork? Okay, no pork. So no pork in the gravy. There we go. Um, there you go, Habibi. So first time, fried chicken. I might just hit that up one time just to try it out. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, gravy sauce. And uh, this meal. Wow. Yo. That is the most incredible flavor for fried chicken ever. I'm shocked right now. Bro, this is the best. Wow. Damn. It's crunchy, it's flavorful, and it's a lot. Mm. Wow. I honestly can say that is delicious. Wow. Whatever seasoning they use on the chicken is really good. Mm. I feel like the Philippines knows like exactly how to make fried chicken. Like they do not mess up on fried chicken in the Philippines. Oh my god. Wow. That is really good. I can eat all that. Mm. And the next thing, you gotta have the uh, soup. So salute to everybody on the soup. So we're about to eat this right now. Okay, I think we ordered a little too much, but we're just gonna do it. Two orders of dim sum. This is the shrimp dim sum. And I'll tell you guys right now, I don't know, I'm gonna try my best to eat, but this is a lot, because we have another order. But uh, let's see how it tastes like. So I'm gonna take this, dip it in a little chili sauce. This one. Chicken. Unless that was the chili sauce, that shrimp, like it melted in my mouth. Holy moly. Is there like a lot of shrimp? Oh, it is. It's like a shrimp dumpling. There's a lot of shrimp. Look at the insides of like, man, I can't even show it to you because it's going to fall. But wow. Fresh shrimp inside. That's literally fresh shrimp in the dumpling. Cooked to perfection. Wow. I would say, honestly, the fried chicken and the shrimp dumpling 
I think shrimp dumplings is like one of my favorites, but the fried chicken was insane. This is a lot. And we still have one more coming in. My man hopefully can help me out because there's no way I can eat all of this, but wow. That shrimp dumpling is amazing. I, I can't stop eating it. I literally am shocked of how fresh and how good it is. It's like heated to perfection. It just literally melts in your mouth. Wow. I don't know if I have room for any more, but my God. Everything's been amazing over here. Straight 10, the service is good. The one hour wait sucked, but everything. This was so refreshing for like watermelon life. Oh my gosh. It was like cantaloupe. That's what I'm looking for, the word cantaloupe now. Wow. One of the best dishes I've had here. Probably one of the best, like, Filipino restaurants I've been to, where the dim sum has been amazing, the soup has been delicious with the beef, and just the water, the, the watermelon drink has been amazing, the fried chicken was unbelievable, and the service was amazing, like, I am very impressed. Now I see why this was CNN's, like, top place to come eat. That really, that really won my heart. I'm very impressed. Wow. Um, I want to see what the bill is going to look like in about like 20 minutes. So ladies and gentlemen, the total bill for a bus came out to 1,120. And that is how much in American? Let's see. So we ordered literally four to five dishes. And if you look at the calendar or the uh, currency converter. Shit. We spent 17 American dollars and 48 cents to eat like a king and like a king. This was 17 American dollars. That's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And 1,200 is exactly exactly 20.98. I am shocked right now. We ordered four drinks. We ordered dim sum, two orders. We ordered fried chicken, two bowls of soup and we're in heaven and we can't even move. I don't even think we can do all of Chinatown for what we ate here. This was the best restaurant I have had in all of Philippines so far, is this place in Chinatown. So I hope you guys enjoy, seriously. And we're gonna walk around a little bit and get this food down. The other side, I don't really. Thank you, we're still going out. All right, thank you. So as you guys can see, they already wet the streets and we are officially done. We should be walking that way. But so far, Chinatown, great experience to get some like actual food. But I was very impressed on just hitting up the restaurants over here. Um, and wow, that was unbelievable dish. I am so full, I can't even move. But I'm very happy that we went to Chinatown. So it wasn't a lot of street food that I expected, but because we saw that restaurant and we waited for like in about an hour, that was probably well worth the wait. How was it, like 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10? Nine on 10. Okay, so he gave a nine out because of 10. Because we wait too much. Yeah, we waited the hour. You drop one point, so I'm with him on that. So about nine out of 10 was uh, very disappointing. So nine out of 10, but overall amazing dish and good food. And <laughs> I, I can't move right now because I ate, we ate so much. Hello. We ate so much that I was like, wow like i i barely can move right now but amazing amazing that was like their five star restaurant if you guys go there please comment remember to go there um i gotta check the name out on my video but i think it was called shanghai i'll check it on my video but if you guys seen it i did post it on the video what it looked like and this was on chinatown well worth it amazing experience good food and just the hour wait killed us but it was well worth it so walking around right now calling it a night um, that was a lot better than what i expected i didn't i was pretty sad that i didn't see a lot of street food i saw vendors but i guess it was closed and it wasn't like uh like if you look down this whole street this is chinatown 
I thought there was gonna be a line filled with uh, street food, but a lot of places were closed, but we're, so we're very blessed that we had this restaurant. And kind of awesome, we're right next to the little statue, and this is Roman Ongpin. And it's kind of cool to see like the history of all this, but look at this building right here. It literally, it resembles like little Chinatown. They have the dragons everywhere. Um, what an amazing experience for Philippines. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I've been trying my hardest to find the most amazing places to eat for you guys.